beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this this video that is so exciting because we're gonna talk about the new Natasha Denona retro palette but I listen I got some news for you <laughs> I got it sent this PR I almost died <laughs> I almost died when I got the message asking if I wanted to get it in PR I almost died. So we are gonna do some swatches. I'm gonna do two looks. I'm gonna show how they are on the eyes. My cats are playing in the background. And we're just gonna see how this palette is. Because as I'm filming this, I have not touched this palette. I haven't tried it, I haven't swatched it. I've looked at it very closely, but I haven't done anything with it. But that is what we're doing today. And if you haven't been here before, hello, my name is Angie. I'm such a lover of beauty and makeup. Just love everything makeup and beauty related. I love playing with it. I love trying new things. I love finding old things in my collection. And I especially love colorful things. So if you like stuff like that, don't forget to subscribe because I upload five videos a week. Although this video is going up on a Saturday as a bonus video and I am so excited. I'm so excited. I am... How many times? Don't take a shot every time I say I'm excited, okay? This palette, let me get it out of the... I Can I first say, I love this PR box. It is just cardboard, the palette's on the inside. I also got sent the new liquid liner. No fuss, no TV screens, no bells and whistles. Something easy to recycle, not too big. I'm a big fan, not too big. That's not what she said. Let me get this out of the packaging and we can have a closer look. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like on the outside. It has the same pink packaging as the mini retro has. And like I said, this is one of the midi palettes for $65. And this is unlike the small palette, which was more like a mauve with two army greens. This is more of a mauve with berries. Uh, and let me show you a close-up of these two next to each other. I know some people were a bit upset that the big retro palette was not an extension of the small retro palette. Personally, I don't care. Uh, I think that these will go very well together and you will be able to use them together. Personally, I think it's more interesting to have a mini and a midi that goes together that gives you more interesting options than something that's just an extension or even worse dupes in the small one. But that is just me and I a million percent recognize that not everyone feels like that. Also, if you're wondering about my eyelids, uh, I did get some staining from some shadows I wore yesterday. So I'm gonna cover that up with some eye primer in a bit, but I didn't do any eye makeup yet. If you're wondering by the way about any of the things that I'm wearing or if you're wondering about this palette I will link down below where you'll be able to get it because it is available and all the things I'm wearing will be linked in the description box together with my other socials my vlog channel and my merch shop let me show you some swatches of this palette how it looks I really like that this palette goes from very light to very dark and in the light spectrum you can find both matte and shimmers and in the dark spectrum you can find both matte and shimmers that is what I like this is more like a berry cool tone pinky purple mauve palette with some more like almost dusty or like dirty like pinky browns. I do feel like it's a bit of a retro color scheme. I honestly feel like this is more of a retro color scheme than the than a mini palette was but that could just be me. I have some palettes here that I know that people wanted to see some comparisons with. First of all, I thought, what is the difference between the love and the retro? And I will say the outside packaging pretty much sums up what the difference is between this. This is way more poppy and this is more muted. And you can see that in the close-up. The love palette is like a pink, red, purple, more poppy palette, more bright palette. And the retro palette is more of a muted, very mauve palette. I was also thinking um, when I got the palette and I started comparing them that it's pretty similar to the Lila palette. I'm pretty sure the Lila palette is discontinued. This this is one of the bigger ones, the $129 ones, and this is my least favorite Natasha Denona palette, and I'm not sad that it's discontinued. I'm not missing this one, so if you were thinking that this was the kind of color scheme that you wanted, I feel like this one is a better version of this one, because this one it only had a couple of mattes, and the good mattes from this palette, you can find it like more interesting versions in this one. And the shimmers in this one, like, I like them, but they weren't amazing. So for me, this is a lesser version of the Retro palette, and I'm happier to see that she has that one instead of this one. But when you see the close-up, you can see that they're not... 
they're not dupes. They do not have similar like colors. It's not like the Lila palette and the Retro palette are the same, but they have the most similar vibe according to me. And the Lila palette is discontinued, so I prefer having the Retro palette instead. Two other palettes that I saw you tagging me and telling me that you thought were similar was the Cheesing Parties by Melt Cosmetics. These are a pretty similar color scheme, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think though that of course the Cheesing Parties has lesser less shades and I think they're a similar price tag if I'm gonna be honest. So maybe I would recommend the retro one over this one if they are both good, if like they're both good forma because I love I love shades like these. I love like berry shades and stuff like this and I have been recommending the Cheesing Parties. But I don't know if they're like dead on dupes. The Cheesing Parties has less options, of course, and I do think the shimmers in the retro look a little bit more interesting. And then we have the Lolita palette by KVD. This one is discontinued. I got this as a gift from a subscriber. She had decluttered this. This one is the same kind of a color scheme, but this is an all matte palette, so it doesn't have any of the shimmer options. But as you can see when you hold them up next to each other, I think that this one the most captures the essence of the retro palette. Of course, it doesn't have any of the uh, the shimmer uh, formula. I'm gonna dig into this now and do two different looks. Uh, I am re like I said, I haven't tried this at all. It looks like at least one of this is one of my favorite formulas, which is her cream to powder formula. I love that formula so much, and also seems to be different kinds of shimmer formulas. And I'm all about that life, and I'm really into this one. This almost. It's like a light, light pink that's almost white, and I love, love the contrast between a dark matte and a light matte, so I really, really like that shade in here, because I will say one of my favorite shades in the Love palette is actually this one here that's called Valentine. It is like a pastel pink that is extremely pigmented, and I love wearing that as a lid shade, so... Let's zoom in and let's dig in. And if you're interested, like I said, in any of these things, or if you're wondering about some details or links, everything is in the description box. I want to do a halo eye because the instant I saw this palette, I knew I wanted to do a halo eye with these two shadows here. So I'm gonna start out, ooh, maybe not with this one. Maybe I'll start out with this one. The one that is called Groove. And I am gonna put that. Oh, this is my first time digging into this palette. I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, we're putting it out here. He, I'm trying to conceal my excitement, but it's not going that great. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Calm down, calm down, Angie. It's only an eyeshadow palette. It's not like you got PR from one of your favorite brands. Okay, what am I? Uh, who? Who needs to deepen up when this is the initial shade? <coughs> Ma'am, ma'am. Wow. Uh. I was like, I thought I was gonna use this as a transition shade, but this is so yummy. Okay, I'll put a little bit in here as well. I kind of feel like I lost my concept. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Um, okay, okay. I'm gonna use another brush. This is from Cleona's Crystal Set. It's this one that's like a little bit poofy but pinched. And I'm gonna pick up this one that's called Andy down here. It's like a mauve shade. Can I swatch this? Mm. This is a cream to powder. That makes me happy. I love love the cream to powder. I'm just gonna put that on here and blend the edges. This cream to powders are great for building on top, like off, like you can use them first and then build another shadow on top, like a powder shadow. Or you can use it on its own because it's, it does dry down to a powder, but it has a little bit of a grip to it. So it almost like acts as a primer if you want to build up a color or make a color more intense, you can use one of these cream to powders under. That is so stunning. So yeah, I'm gonna blend out with this shade. It doesn't look perfect here right now. I'm gonna fix that in a bit. And then I'm gonna deepen up a bit more. Again, am I gonna use the same shade? I kind of want to use that Rebellion. I think I'm gonna use that one because that also seems like a cream to powder. 
I'm so excited. I don't like putting... I don't like closing my halo eyes. I like keeping them open like this, but if you like closing them, depending on your eye shape, you should definitely like experiment and see what you would like the most. Just close them up, but I prefer not to. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. I'm gonna grab one of the Refer Small Brushes. I think this is a 13, the smallest one. And I'm gonna pick this one here, the Dark Cream to Powder. It is called Rebellion. And we are gonna do that one. Ooh, so pretty and I'm just gonna do even more I'm just gonna work this in here just in the absolute darkest part because I want this to be that like reddish berry well true berry and I want the darkness so I'm just working it in to where I want the hayline to be the darkest which is in my outer corner and like the innerst part of my lid, like here. I'm just working it in. Not doing any big swipes. I just want to keep it where the darkest part is going to be. And I think I'm going to run some of these shades under my eyes as well. I am not going to keep the gap under my eyes. Sometimes I do that with halo eyes. But today I decided that I'm not. Oh, I love the depth of this. You can see it just brings a little bit more depth to uh, the look. I'm not too worried about this part. We're gonna put shimmer here. You don't have to be blending parts that you're gonna be covering up. I'm gonna be starting with the darkest one, the one that's a little bit more berry, the one that's called Rebellion, and then I'm gonna blend it out with the other more purpley shades. That is such a beautiful reddish, like a burgundy berry. Ugh. Okay, don't get demonetized. Oh, that's so sultry and sexy. This is groove on top. Now I kind of want to try and put that on top of the cream up here as well. Oh, these shadows layer like they have a PhD in layering. Mm. Okay, I'm dying to use this one, the psychedelic one, which is the super shimmery baby pink. It seems extremely reflective. I am gonna spray it because I don't want this everywhere and I always load up my brushes. And personally, I like the precision. I like the precision that a sprayed shadow gives me. So I'm gonna put that in the center. I start with just tapping it on in the middle where I want it to be the most intense. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the spray and then I am slowly just feathering it up into the crease and then I'm tapping on the edge just to blend it into the mats that we have. That looks divine, absolutely divine. I am gonna do with just a pencil brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of the mod, which is that matte, almost white pink that I talked about, and I'm just gonna light up the inner corners. Oh, I love shades like this. Mm -mm -mm. And yeah, let me finish up this look, but this is a really, a really sexy look. <laughs> So this is the first look, the halo eye with the plums and the bright pink in the middle. I love a look like this. I feel super pretty. I had no problems working with any of these shadows. So far they feel like the normal Natasha Denona formula, which is a formula that I really love. And yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very excited about this look. It matches the dress perfectly. Feeling very sassy. Let's dig into look number two. Let's do another look. Let's do another look. I picked, this is the, is it called Amorosa? This is the Natasha Denona I Need a Lipstick. Uh, this is Amorosa, yeah. This is the one that was limited edition for Valentine's, but I think it's still available. This is like mid-tone, uh, well, on me, <laughs> on me a mid-tone pink. So I thought, I think, I think we're gonna do this one. You can't see anything. This one and deepen up with this one. Both of them are cream to powder. It is Go Go and uh, Opart. I don't really know what that is. And I think we're gonna do Jude, which is this one here. Cause it is like a silvery cool tone taupe that has a lot of like 
reflectiveness to it and it's a bit not me it's a bit not me but that is what i kind of like so i'm starting with gogo -Go. oh and i have a cat hair in my lip in my lip no but on my lip so i'm gonna start with gogo -Go, and i'm gonna put that in mostly the upper part of the crease because i want this look to be like a pinky brown i usually don't well, I have been doing a little bit more of neutrals lately, but I will be honest, when I'm doing two looks with a palette, I kind of just want to show you the versatility and just show you that this palette can go in a totally different tone than what you saw in the other look. And plus, I want to try as many shades as possible. This reminds me of one of my OG favorites, which is Makeup Geek's Cupcake. They have that same warm pink on me transition shade and makeup geeks cupcake is actually one of the few eyeshadows that i have hit pan on and i love this cream to powder formula it's just so effortless i'm also putting this under my eyes i feel like doing a bit of a simple look but with this retro color scheme these cream to powders go on so effortless even on top of powders they are just the best layering formula ever. Now I'm doing the shadow that's called, I think, Opart. I honestly have no idea what that is. And this is also a cream to powder. So these are gonna be <laughs> extremely easy to blend into each other. I am gonna do what I like doing, which is doing a lot of darkness in my outer corners, lifting it up a little bit here, but not dragging it in because I don't like having, sometimes I do, but a lot of times I love keeping the darkness only in the outer corner and not even putting it in. So I'm just working it in over here and I'm gonna use the brush that I did for the pink and I'm gonna blend on the edge. I mean, this is gonna be so easy to blend because they are both the same beautiful formula. Okay, so I used that dark shade in my outer corners and also under my eyes. And now we're going to do this one, the Jude one, which is in the middle on the top layer. And it is, like I said, it is a taupey metallic, but it has a lot of sheen. Oh, you can't see anything here. Wait, let me spray this. Again, I love spraying my shimmers. I always do that to get them to be as precise as possible. And I think I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah, I like this. That's nice. It's a bit more neutral than I normally go for, but I feel like this is a look that a lot of people would enjoy with this palette. Because I feel like this palette offers more taupey neutral looks as well as like berry or straight up like smoky like burgundy looks but I think a lot of people will enjoy looks like this so I really want to show you that you could go in this direction as well just taking a little bit of this dark shade and I'm blending it in so it mixes and that is that is pretty much the look. Why don't we do the same inner corner? I can't get over how much I love an inner corner highlight like this. I'm sorry, but a matte inner corner highlight is life. And especially when it has like a hint of something in it. Like this one has a hint of pink. I just love that. And I think it ties in the look. And if you have been dead set, dead set on shimmery, like inner corner highlights, try a matte inner corner highlight. It is so flattering. It's so flattering. I love it. Okay, let me finish this up and we can have a final chat about this palette. Look at me being... Is this neutral? It's, it's neutral. Okay, this is the finished look. I decided to go more with a bit of a 60s look with a very bold eyeliner. I did use the... <laughs> the Natasha Denona Macro Blade Liquid Liner. 
This is extremely pigmented. It is almost like if you're used to working with liquid liner where you have to go over it several times, this is not that. This is opaque from the first go and it like immediately as it touches the skin you get full opacity. So I don't know if this is like for beginners but I mean it is extremely pigmented so I feel like when I used it now the first time I was like oh that's a lot so I feel like I need to use it a little bit more before I get like a feel for it but it is very opaque, it has no skipping, no tugging, so if that is what you're looking for, this could be for you, but if you're looking for something that's maybe a little bit more forgiving, this might not be for you. I also got sent this one as a PR. But yeah, this is the finished look, like I said, I decided to go for something a little bit more dramatic, trying to be a little bit 60s, I don't know, this pattern on this top as well, or like this dress, listen, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm born in the 80s. I'm just winging it here, but what do I think about this palette? I love berries, I love mauve tones, I love playing with cool tones like this. Who's backing up now? Who's asking for this? <laughs> and I love the Natasha Denona formula, so for me, this is a hit. For me, this is something that I have fully enjoyed working with and am definitely going to enjoy working with more in the future really did enjoy it. I hope the comparisons that I did in the beginning was helpful for you as well, but if you were wondering if this is the same like good formula that's in the other midi palettes, I would definitely say yes it is. I did also take some pictures for Instagram and I did a couple of reels and one of the pictures for Instagram, I don't know if that's posted when I'm putting this video up, I did put all of the midi palettes together in one picture so that you can see the difference between them. So if you were interested in that, that would be on my Instagram. I hope you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe, I would love to see my next video. I am gonna have a video on Monday again and if you are a member of my channel tomorrow is the member exclusive tutorial. You can join my membership by pressing the button down here next to the subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me because I do have member exclusive videos and you also get some member exclusive emojis and you get the happy clown squad <laughs> little symbol next to your name. You can see some info about that. You don't have to commit to anything just by pressing the button down here. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having the most amazing day and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!